that ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, an holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of God, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. This generation of indigenous people do not know how to identify their people. Due to the beast system's one drop rule, many outsiders are claiming the original people's identity. It is important for the original people that is made in the Most High's image know how to identify the melanated people all over the world. This generation of original black people cannot differentiate the hybrids from the indigenous people. There are hybrids pretending to be black because black people are made to believe a person with one black parent is black. There are hybrids with less than 10% of indigenous blood pretending to be black. There are black people supporting and accepting these people with less than 10% indigenous blood as their people. Israelites, you cannot break bread with your enemies, then get mad when they turn around and stab you in the back. Yeshua said to the heathen woman, it is not right to take the children's food and give it to the dogs. But he answered and said, It is not me to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. Once the indigenous black people all over the world understand the dominion the Most High gave to his creation, they will stop giving their dominion to the dogs. Just because the beast system do not value you, this does not indicate you should devalue yourself. Yeshua compared the heathen woman to a dog. Yeshua did not want to give what was for the Israelites to a heathen Canaanite woman. Before Yeshua answered her and said, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, he ignored her. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coasts and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she crieth after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Israelites and indigenous people all over the world, value yourself and stop giving your crown, dominion, and blood to dogs. You do not have to explain nor give your enemies what the Most High gave you. Welcoming and sharing our way of life with the enemy is how we are in the position we are in today. To know who the people were that is made in the Most High's image, we must go to the scriptures to identify these people. We cannot rely on the beast system to identify the indigenous people. Going to the beast system to confirm the affairs of the Most High is unwise. The beast system support and glorify the kingdom of darkness, not the Most High. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. The scriptures must confirm what we see in our everyday life. The scripture said, The Most High made men and women in his image and likeness. The scripture did not say the Most High made red, yellow, black, white, and the many other colors the beast system used to classify mankind today. The scriptures do not support the beast system human evolution theory. If the people that are made in the image of the Most High evolve from animals, does this mean the Most High is part human, part beast? Yah's creation is made in His image and likeness. The reason the beast system pushed human evolution, the seed of the fallen have animal DNA. The book of Enoch confirmed the serpent's seed sin against the animals. The kingdom of darkness must find a way to include the hybrids with animal instinct into the most highest creation. That way the indigenous people would continue to procreate with the hybrids to increase their population. The scripture said, the Most High made men and women in His image and likeness. So God created man in His own image. In the image of God created He, Him, male and female.
created he them. The scriptures do not support the beast systems, race classification, or humans evolving from animals. In the Most High's creation, there are no yellow, red, black, or white people, simply people that were made in the image of the Most High. As a servant of the Most High, the statutes of the Most High are the only statutes that are to be followed. The standards of this world made by the watchers that sinned, the scripture said the watchers brought corruption to the earth and to Azazel all sin was credited. And the whole earth has been corrupted through the works that were taught by Azazel. To him ascribe all sin. Living by the beast system's way of life make you a follower of the kingdom of darkness, not the most high. The most high made humans one time. The Most High did not create black people, then said, I will make white people and the other race of people next. The many different race the beast system recognized came from the infiltration that took place in the indigenous population. When the watchers lusted after the daughters of men and seek to procreate children that resemble them, a new species of men was created. And it came to pass, when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. The new species of mankind came from the kingdom of darkness, not the most high. Yah already created the people that looked like him. The seed of the fallen came after. Through the infiltration of the seed of the watchers birthed the many different so-called race we know today. The kingdom of darkness need the indigenous people as its foundation to create their offspring. Remember, Satan imitates everything the Most High does to deceive. The infiltration of the indigenous people by the watchers, bloodline curses, and recessive genes brought forth the variety of mankind we know today. The original creation the Most High made had one look. Because there were no physical distinction between the original creation, the Most High identified his people by bloodline. The scriptures gave us many examples of the Israelites being mistaken for other indigenous people they live among. When Jacob died and the Israelites were going to bury him, the Canaanites mistaken the Israelites for their cousin Mizraim. And when the inhabitants of the land, the Canaanites, saw the morning in the floor of Atad, they said, this is a grievous morning to the Egyptians, wherefore the name of it was called Abo Mizraim, which is beyond Jordan. The Canaanites and Mizraim are Hamites. They descend from Noah's son, Ham. The Israelites are Shemites, a different bloodline from the Hamites. The Most High revealed to Joseph in a dream to flee to Egypt, the land of Ham, with Yahshua because King Herod wanted to kill Yahshua. Because Mizraim and the Israelites resemble each other, Yahshua could hide among Mizraim in the land of Ham. Moses grew up in Pharaoh's palace because Pharaoh's daughter made Moses her son. The scriptures reveal the life to all flesh is in the blood. For it is the life of all flesh, the blood of it is for the life thereof. Therefore I said unto the children of Israel, Ye shall eat the blood of no manner of flesh. For the life of all flesh is the blood thereof. Whosoever eateth it shall be cut off. The beast system conduct DNA testing when identifying a child's father. Appearance alone cannot reveal who the father is. The beast system used DNA testing to connect people who share the same DNA and disclose their history. Your DNA reveal who you are and where your ancestors come from. Bloodline is extremely important in the most high system. DNA is something that cannot be altered. Your DNA travel from one generation to the next. How come the beast system do not use bloodline to identify a person's so-called race, but use DNA to discover other vital information about a person's history? The beast system determines a person's race solely on skin color and place of birth. If the beast system used bloodline to identify the people today, then they would have to explain the present Neanderthal DNA in certain groups of people. You cannot have a gene encoded in your DNA if you do not descend from the root. According to the beast system, the Neanderthal's origin is unknown. In addition, 
this species of mankind do not trace back to Adam and Eve. The scriptures confirm Adam and Eve are the first humans. Every person living today descend from the ancient people that lived before us. That is how a bloodline continues from one generation to the next. To say that the Neanderthals are extinct and there are people who carry this gene does not make sense. The existence of the Neanderthal DNA in Eurasian people conclude that Neanderthals are not extinct. All people do not carry the Neanderthal DNA. A specific group of people who descend from the land of the north carry this gene. If the Neanderthal DNA were found in everyone, then we can confirm everyone are the same. However, all people do not carry this gene. The individuals who have this gene is a different species from the lineage of Adam and Eve. If the DNA companies in the beast system were trustworthy, the wealth of knowledge gained from testing mankind DNA would change how we view the people we live among. DNA testing would reveal a lot to the naked eye. DNA companies in the beast system have proven they cannot be trusted, especially when they believe the imposters share the same DNA as the Israelites. We must verify everything with the words of the Most High. The scripture said, the Most High does nothing according to appearance. But the Lord said unto Samuel, look not on his countenance or on the height of his stature, because I have refused him. For the Lord seeth not as man seeth. For man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. The kingdom of darkness use appearance to identify the different species of mankind to pass off the seed of the fallen as part of the Most High's creation. The Most High name every bloodline after the Father. Naming a bloodline after the Father does not indicate the women are less important. Only in the beast system, the women's DNA contribution is devalued when it comes to childbearing, even though women are the one giving birth and creating the child in their womb. In the Most High system, the mothers are just as important as the fathers. The Most High choose to name every bloodline after the father because Yah could do whatever he wants. Who could question the Most High? Nay, but, O man, who art thou? that repliest against God. Shall the thing formed say to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? If you are not the progenitor of a bloodline, the woman you marry and procreate with determines if your children would inherit your father's bloodline or establish your own bloodline. The sons of Israel who marry non-Israelite women are not passing on the Israelite heritage to their children. These men are establishing their own bloodline with the strange women. Noah's sons are the progenitor to three different bloodlines. Shem, Ham, and Japheth had the same mother and father. The book of Tobit confirms Noah's wife was his kindred. Beware of all whoredom, my son, and chiefly take a wife of the seed of thy fathers, and take not a strange woman to wife, which is not of thy father's tribe. For we are the children of the prophets, Noah, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Remember, my son, that our fathers from the beginning, even that they all married wives of their own kindred, and were blessed in their children, and their seed shall inherit the land. The book of Tobit in the Apocrypha made sure to say, Marrying the strange woman is whoredom. In addition, our forefathers married women of their own kindred and were blessed. The list of men mentioned were Noah, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Many sons of Israel today are suffering due to their rebellion against the words of the Most High and marrying the strange women. Noah married within, therefore Noah passed on his father's bloodline to his children. The Most High made Shem, Ham, and Japheth progenitors to three different bloodlines. The progenitor to a bloodline can marry any woman he wants to create his bloodline. Their children must marry within to pass on their bloodline. Because the Most High used Shem, Ham, and Japheth to repopulate the earth after the flood, many other bloodlines were established within Noah's son's bloodline. For example, the Israelites, the Moabites, and the other Shemitic people are different bloodlines within Shem's bloodline. These are the three sons of Noah, and of them was the whole earth. Overspread. 
You are what your father is doctrine is very deceptive. The woman you marry determines if you will start a new bloodline or pass on your father's bloodline. The progenitor of the three major bloodlines, Japhetic, Hematic, and Shematic, are established. For the Israelites, we have specific commands we must abide by to continue the Israelite bloodline. Because we carry the royal bloodline, the Most High wants the holy bloodline to remain pure. The statutes and commandments that apply to us concerning the Israelite bloodline does not apply to the heathens. And ye shall be holy unto me, for I the Lord am holy, and have severed you from other people, that ye should be mine. The Israelites who wants to pass on Jacob's bloodline to their children must marry another Israelite. If an Israelite marry and procreate with an Israelite outside their tribe, then the child would identify with the tribe of his or her father. The strange man and woman cannot produce Israelite children. If the man choose to marry the strange woman, the man is establishing his own bloodline. The book of Tobit in the Apocrypha confirmed that the children born from the union of the sons of Israel and the strange women would not be blessed. The scripture said a bastard is not accepted into the Most High's congregation. A bastard shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. Even to his tenth generation shall he not enter into the congregation of the Lord. By the way, a bastard is a child that is born from an unholy union. Who are the people that were made in the image of the Most High? The beast system revealed many important information that is wrapped in deception. A half-truth is still a lie. Bloodline is important. That is why the beast system do not use bloodline in their race classification. Bloodline would expose years of identity theft. Your genetics are encoded in your DNA. The indigenous black woman is recognized as the mother to all. Out of the womb of the indigenous black woman came everyone else. The indigenous black woman possess a maternal gene that is passed down from generation to generation. This gene is named after the first woman, Eve, mitochondrial Eve. The Eve gene is found in black women only. The Most High has a way of preserving his creation that prevents the kingdom of darkness from interfering with the original creation. Satan can imitate, but he cannot duplicate. That is why there is a visible difference between the seed of the fallen and the indigenous people. When the watchers seek to procreate a seed of their own, their offspring were not like the indigenous people. The offspring of the watchers were giants. In addition, the seed of the serpent had little to no melanin. The union between the daughters of men and the watchers produced children with a mutated DNA. The seed of the fallen carried the Neanderthal DNA. The Neanderthal DNA differentiate the offspring of the indigenous people from the seed of the fallen. Because black women inherited the Eve gene from the first woman, this vital information conclude Eve is a black woman. Black women is credited to being the mother to all by the scriptures as well as the beast system. The black woman is made in the image of the Most High. Eve, a black woman, was formed from Adam's rib. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs, and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man, made he a woman, and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones, and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Adam, the first man, said, Eve is his bone from my bone and flesh from my flesh. Since the woman that was formed from Adam's bone is a black woman, then the man that was made in the image of the Most High is a black man. The scriptures revealed the Most High took dirt from the ground to create Adam. Dirt and the indigenous people share similar color. Minor details such as these can identify the indigenous people that are made in the image of the Most High. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. 
Besides black women inheriting the Eve gene from the first woman Eve, in addition the first men being formed from dirt, the remote places in this world are inhabited by people who share the same dark hue as black people. Everywhere the Caucasians travel, they found indigenous dark people dwelling in the land. There are uncontacted people living all over the world and all the uncontacted people share the same appearance, the dark hue that is unique to the indigenous people. Israelites, despite the many slander coming from the beast system about black people, our position with the Most High is undeniable. The serpent seed and the heathens can try to write us out of history and dismiss our contribution to the earth. We remain a peculiar people that is made in the image of the Most High. And those who hate us covet who we are and our possessions. That is why they take great measures to erase us and cut us off from being a people. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. If the indigenous people become extinct, the other species of mankind will not survive. We are the foundation to their beginning. The watchers, the father to the seed of the fallen, are locked in chains, waiting on their punishments. And the angels which kept not their first estate, but left to their own habitation, he hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. The beast system can deny the truth, but greater is he that's in us than he that's in this world. The Most High has the final say. The seed of the fallen and the heathens who praise the serpent seed can try to claim what don't belong to them. The serpent seed can rewrite history to favor them. Regardless to what they do, the indigenous people all over the world is a living testimony to their delusions. The indigenous people are the dark hue people living all over the world. The dark indigenous people are the people who inherited the earth from their fathers, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Israelites, do not allow Satan to steal this truth from you. The invaders have but a short amount of time. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Like in the past, the Most High will restore his people and the strangers who cleave to his people, the Israelites, as well as abide by his laws, statutes, and commandments. In that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Be thou not and desire, let not thine hands be slack. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save, he will rejoice over thee with joy, he will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing.